Well, Mama Winnie complimented the film and British actress Naomi Harris's portrayal of her, describing it as the most real portrayal she had seen until that stage. The producer of Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom, is Anant Singh, who joins us now from his Durban home uh, this evening. Good evening to you, Anant, uh, and thank you for talking to us. Uh, I mean, I suppose, firstly, you know, how did you receive the news of the passing of Mama Winnie Matigazela Mandela? Well, it, it was on Monday, Easter Monday, and uh, uh, Barbara Hogan actually sent me a, a text, and I actually couldn't believe it. I knew she went into hospital, and uh, I'd seen her a few months earlier, and I spoke to her about a month ago. So it was very... Uh, sudden and very a very large shock uh, I think we've all seen her go into hospital for a few days and come out um, and she was always in good spirits and uh, uh, so we were all very very uh, uh, suddenly uh, very shocked uh, but um, you know I, I think when Akaya mentioned earlier uh, in the discussion about her legacy and for me uh, the one point i'd like to make is on monday there was a we participated in a um, uh, event to saluting her at constitutional hill and indeleka mandela said she got a raw deal and i think for all that she contributed suffered and uh, and came through this liberation for us uh, that was a very apt um, uh, description of uh, how it ended up one of the things of course as you refer is that uh, she praised your film but there was always a complaint uh, and she was more frank about it i suppose towards the end uh, that her former husband nelson mandela was in a way canonized whilst uh, she was often demonized well look i think uh, we've had several discussions over the years about all the films that sort of came out and uh, you know and she get she would get really upset because the most important thing is that they, nobody did their homework properly they wouldn't even come and talk to her and she said look you know i'm happy that they're portraying me but at least do your do your job do it properly let me give you input etc but a lot of the films were actually just made you know on the fly and basically you know some screenwriter writes her lines which you know and she was a very specific and special person and in the research for Naomi Harris to do this role Naomi met with her several times and then subsequently watched every documentary that we could uh, get our hands on she then read books about her and you know over the last few days since her uh, when he's passing i've been re looking at those books and you know we probably had like 25 books and and there's such amazing images and uh, and and reflections of uh, that whole uh, life of hers and it's so amazing that she was able to prevail because she was thrown everything from torture 491 days in solitary and she was able to put it put it put it away and and she said to me at one time at one time that the more they threw at her the more she felt that she had to be uh, uh, strong because everybody else was in 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 prison and and that she wanted to come out and be able to um, actually uh, be um, strong for the nation and I think that's what has caused the 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 amazing um, outpouring of love and admiration and and um, support of her legacy in one of her last interviews she gave she spoke about how those who were in prison uh, might have been calmed down by the system and that the, the real problem with with her as far as the apartheid regime was concerned was that she simply refused to be broken down and I suppose uh, to back up what you're saying it was really that indomitable spirit uh, that has made people reflect differently at this time Absolutely, I think that that spirit, in in in, you know, even uh, to the end, was always there, and that spirit of of love and care of you know the people of 
of our country. She was a people's person. If she read something in a newspaper, there was uh, that story about Palessa who disappeared and, you know, and she took on that cause and she went to the family un unannounced, no cameras, you know, very uh, quietly. And, and, and that was the, the Winnie that the nation uh, admired. Um, you know, my relationship with her goes back almost 35 years through uh, my association with Fatima Amir, and they were very close friends, and Fatima was a mentor of, uh, of mine. And again, you know, they would have arguments. I was in, in the presence of them shouting at each other, but then, you know, it, it's, she always had a point of view, and she was able to communicate that, and then in five minutes they were friends again, and, and that is the 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 person who Winnie was, and you know, going back to m the days of meeting Madiba, um, you know, when she was at the hospital and Madiba calling her, and and you know, there's so much material of what an amazing woman she was, and I think that foundation came from the trans guy from Brizana when her mother died when she was I think eight or eight or nine years old. Anand, I'm going to have to stop our interview for a little bit and just say goodbye to our SABC3 viewers. Uh, we're going to continue, of course, our discussion uh, on Channel 404. But uh, uh, as uh, we continue to talk then, so good night to our SABC3 viewers. But we continue our discussion uh, with uh, film producer Anand Singh, who is uh, uh, talking to us uh, from Durban. Uh, it, she was just somebody you couldn't easily pigeonhole. And I want to know from you, will you be... Uh, reconsidering uh, particularly the later narrative of her life and maybe uh, might we see a, a new biopic that retells the story of uh, Winnie Matikazela Mandela well you know it's been a, it's a question that I've been asked several times in the in the past week um, and let me relate a story of uh, the Mandela Long Walk to Freedom journey. So she was always very um, um, available and supportive of uh, the idea of the film. And when we were getting it all together and I said, you know, Naomi Harris is going to play you, Idris Elba's playing Madiba, she was always very forthcoming and happy to meet and talk. And I would be able to call her and get advice. The most terrifying thing I ever experienced was the day that I was going to have to show her the film. So one day before the film was finished, we got together and I, just the two of us went to a theater, we watched it together and I could see the, you know, that she was slightly emotional uh, but at the end of the film she turned to me, gave me a kiss, gave me a hug and said, don't change anything, I love the film. So uh, with that, I'm not sure I want to take on another film but I, now that I'm reading all the material and looking at the videos, uh, uh, you know, give me time. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I suppose in, in, in many ways, hers became a kind of inconvenient truth. But uh, right to the end, uh, she maintained uh, uh, her sense of justice, her sense of uh, not uh, accepting an easy truce, not accepting an easy peace. Uh, because one of the things we've heard consistently in the last uh, 10 days or so is how she remained with her people in Soweto. Uh, you know, we may not have highways or airports named after her, uh, but it was really with uh, the people on the ground uh, that identified with her, which is why to this day, uh, a number of informal settlements uh, uh, are the sites of memory that bear her name. Well, absolutely, and I think that's such a, a testament to her indomitable spirit. But, but also, I think that when, when you look at the, that legacy and, um, and that, that outpouring of love uh, on every walk of life and every, you know, every ethnicity, um, but at the same time, when you hear things like, you know, the entire Mandela Football Club where apartheid spies, you know, that kind of says, wow, you know, it, the, the revelations are, are probably just beginning. So where is this going to go? And it's, you know, uh, going to be fascinating to keep following uh, that trail. Well, I can tell you for free that uh, if you do come up with a new biopic of uh, the story of uh, Mama Winnie Matikezela Mandela, Anant, it should uh, surely be a blockbuster, certainly in South Africa.